With this image, Elon Musk announced his takeover of Twitter. Two years since, the rebranding of the social media platform has more than sunk in. The billionaire took over Twitter in October 2022 and fired over 80% of the entire workforce, leaving only 1,500 of the over 8,000 employees. What followed was a period of instability with essential functions like trust, safety, content moderation and customer support facing severe setbacks. Nonetheless, for Musk and his supporters, the sweeping layoffs were seen as a necessary purge to rid the company of woke bureaucracy and refocus it as a free speech platform aligned with conservative interests. Take over, Elon, yes. If Musk applies similar tactics in the federal government, it would mean a significant reduction in departments seen as unnecessary or ideologically opposed to Trump's agenda. Musk's ex-bio now reads, the people voted for major government reform. What would it actually mean? Musk will be bringing a Silicon Valley sensibility to government reform. He posted on X, America's A-team is usually building companies in the private sector. Once in a long time, reforming government is important enough that the A-team allocates time to the government. This is that time. Musk's approach will focus on placing trusted allies and tech experts from his corporate network into key government roles. Steve Davis, president of Musk's tunneling startup The Boring Company, is expected to play a significant role, drawing from his experience executing layoffs and corporate restructuring. Known for his efficiency in high-stress environments, Davis was instrumental in reshaping Twitter. Another close associate, Omad Afshar, who has overseen major projects like Tesla's Giga Texas factory, is likely to assist Musk in navigating government reforms. Afshar is known as a firefighter within Musk companies, handling challenging situations with a results-driven approach. This inner circle also includes finance expert Jared Birshal head of Musk's family office, who played a critical role in financing the Twitter deal and managing Musk's business interests. Elon Musk's arrival in Washington signals an unprecedented crossover of tech industry power into the federal government as he aims to bring the same disruptive mindset that built his corporate empire to the US government.